Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing fantastic today. I'm out here in the garden filming this intro because in this video we're working at our desk so that's why I'm at home and not, you know, in the field somewhere. So uh, in this video we're going to post process a time lapse that I showed you how to capture in the episode 1, this is the episode 2. So if you don't know how to capture time lapse in the field, you know, set up the camera and actually capture it, please go check out episode 1, I'll link it up here in the card. Um, and then when you're done there and you have a bunch of images that you want to transform into a beautiful time-lapse Come to this video and I'll show you how you can use only the Adobe Photography plan So that it only means Lightroom and Photoshop to transform those bunch of images into a beautiful time-lapse So we're not going to use Premiere Pro or any video editing software uh, But only Lightroom and Photoshop So that's the key, you know, reason for this video is only using Lightroom and Photoshop So yeah, I'll see you at the desk with all your images that you captured in episode 1 and I'll show you how to process those into a beautiful time lapse to the desk. Okay, so now that we are at our desks, um, what I have done here is I've taken all the images from the SD card and put it into my episode 2 video uh, folder and I put it into the time lapse folder and I put it into the raw folder because under the time lapse we have edited images and the final edited time lapse also so under the raw um, my card or my camera switched over to, uh, to a different folder so I have a folder one that is the beginning of the images and then I can scroll down I accidentally captured like two hours I think um, or uh, two and a half um, rather than one and a half as I said in the first video but whatever it's more to work with and then uh, folder two which is, is uh, some more images that continues from those so just keep that in mind that we have a folder one and two um, you will probably only have a folder one but if you have two just you know same thing so let's open up Lightroom and yeah, I'll see you when Lightroom decided to open because my laptop is quite slow. Okay, now that Lightroom is open, let's go to library. So if it opened in develop, just open the library, come to the left, select import. And then we're going to go navigate to my folder so navigate to where you put your um, your files time lapse raw and within that we have a folder one so I'm going to select both folders oh no I am not I'm afraid that it will reorganize it so that the folder one because the numbers of the actual files are higher because it's the end of the one folder and folder 2 is the beginning of another so I'm going to do it separately and then we can create the collection afterwards so just select folder 1 select it'll select all the images and that's correct and then just select import and then you'll just wait for it to import if your computer is like sometimes freeze with Lightroom I found that it actually works quite nice to have the task manager running on performance and select CPU then it kind of gives the computer something to change the whole time I'm not sure how it works but I also found that if I move my mouse the whole time it doesn't freeze especially with Photoshop running something very demanding on the on the CPU or anything so just keep this guy open if you if your computer kind of tends to freeze up so yeah okay now my um, my first batch of images has been imported uh, now I'm just going to go to imp import again time-lapse raw folder 2 and import 
here we go again at least this is only like 50 or 60 images so it won't take that long okay now um, all my images have been imported the second batch as well going to go all the way to the right actually yeah, I should put it in the right order yeah as I said I accidentally did like 50 I, I mean like 900 images okay okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to select all my images go to the right here uh, 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 okay create a collection and just give it a name whatever you want uh, it's hard to reach my keyboard now just going to make a time lapse include selected photos make new virtual copies don't select that and I'm not going to sync it with Lightroom otherwise my computer hey I might just want to switch off sync now because that also makes things slower okay now let's go to the middle let me just check okay it did you know select it in the right order now I'm going to go to the middle image and give it an edit because that's the most average you know piece of your actual time lapse so select the middle image or one of the you know middle part ones then let's go to the develop tab now we're going to start editing um, uh, let's start with the landscape with the profile let's just readjust my mic here okay now just basic edits you can do this just as you like to fit your style and whatever you know you're you are used to now you want it to look um now i'm just going to do a basic one and then maybe come back to you later um so to give myself time to just you know edit this just as i want to spend some time on it um as i like are quite aggressive i have to say so but it's not clipped i'll just bring that up I use my kit lens that definitely isn't very sharp so I can go quite aggressive on the sharpening um, especially it's going to end up with NADP video so yeah um, I showed you this trick in one of my other videos as well uh, yeah I'm not really satisfied with how this looks um, I feel those you know details are very lost uh, um, No, that's not the right thing to do. Um, no, I could do that. Uh, clarity. Yes. Okay, that's what I wanted. A bit more clarity. Okay, no, not the eyes. Okay. Um, so, you just go and edit your image as you like. Crop whatever you want. Okay, so at this point, I just mentioned that I got myself into a shot that I did said in episode 1. And here I'm trying to remove it. And then I thought, okay, now we're not going to do it in Lightroom. We're going to fix it in Photoshop. But we're not, uh, I forgot totally about it. So I'm going to make another video on how you can fix something that you got into your frame in a time lapse. Okay, let's go to our edited image. Or, or give me time and I'll just finalize this edit. I'll see you when I'm done editing. Okay, now I have edited my image. Uh, you can, you have edited your image. Now what you're going to do is just control or command on a Mac, control A, alpha, and that'll select all the images. And what you're going to do now is go to sync below your main editing tab, treatment and profile, select white balance, yes. Okay, mine was set on auto. Let me just cancel that. Just change the white balance and set it to what you want. Probably want a bit warmer. Okay, well now my blues are quite unsaturated. Okay. That looks fine, I think. Yeah. Um okay. I have my white balance what I want it to be so let's just do that again you have to change your white balance for it to actually register that you want a specific white balance so select white balance yes all these stuff down curve yes 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 
yes local adjustments also we want that to be synced noise reduction yes transform well i didn't do anything but yes effects yes uh, spot removal yes and crop yes everything basically because you want every adjustment you did to be synced across all and then all uh, the only thing or what you will do then is click synchronize and you can see it loading up here now it's basically just going to apply that, that edit that i did to the specific image to all 962 images once again this is the time you will just go onto instagram and scroll whatever you want to do but it might take a while so i'll see you when it's finished now we can see that the edit was synced across uh, all the images um it might not render the, the uh, thumbnails you know very quickly it's done it's finished syncing there you can see there's no processes happening at the moment but the um the thumbnails take a while to load so as i scroll here it only loads the thumbnails that you are actually viewing so if i stand here and wait it'll load all the all the thumbnails on the screen and if i scroll there's nothing that loaded yet so don't worry about that it's just you know it, it the, the edit is applied okay so our edit is applied across all the images now what we're going to do is actually we should resize it um on lightroom so i'm going to select the first one okay let's get it ready for a 4k time lapse so let's resize it in lightroom and then we won't have to worry about it later so come into your crop tool here and select enter custom then we're going to enter 3840 and on this side 2160 3840 by 2160 yes that's correct uh, and I think it's correctly cropped as well okay select that um, and yes I'm sorry we should have done this before we synced because now control or com command A again and sync again and sync again so yeah now my sync my crop sync has been finished didn't take that long um yeah it's still loading the previews as you can see that's the one i worked on but the others previews are still four by three i think that's right yeah okay i think we're finished in larger now so fin um file export just trying to film a tutorial here okay let's okay now it opened my file explorer go navigate to where you want to save it episode 2 time lapse and then under raw i'm just going to select the time lapse folder and then i want lightroom to put i already clicked select um i uh then you want to select put in subfolder here and just uh click edit jpeg or whatever you want to call that folder okay i'll just put it under the subfolder edit that's correct file naming i want a custom name and a sequence no 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 custom name sequence because my files are weirdly so let's just click time lapse and then start number one yes that sounds good um so it's going to make a sequence so that photoshop will know how to you know put these up file settings jpeg 100 now here we want to resize the long edge to be 3840 i think just make sure Yes, 
yes, 3840, and then it should also, it, it should make the other edge 2160, um, because we sized it, we cropped it to uh, the right ratio, so the other edge should be right. Metadata, okay, okay, okay. And I think that's correct. Everything's ready. Resolution. Resize to fit. Yes. Okay. Export. Now, this is where <coughs> my laptop will take about two weeks to complete. So, I'll see you in about two weeks when my laptop is finished. Um, and once again, that tip where you open up the task manager on the CPU so that for some reason it just works to not freeze up Lightroom. Now that Lightroom is finished exporting all my 962 files that I'm not joking now it took 10 hours so this is the next day. So what are we going to do now is just close Lightroom. We're finished with Lightroom so let's just close it Yours might not look like this, but I set it up this way. Um, and I'll see you now. So here we are, Lightroom is now closed. And here we have all our images. Let's just check, yes, 962. Um, and we have all our files. Just check how it looks. Okay, here we have the file. Um, yeah, I think it looks fine. So now let's close this up and open Photoshop. Okay, now the Photoshop is open. Let's go to open. Then we're going to navigate to our um, oops, navigate to our video. I mean time lapse. It's in my video folder. The other one, episode 2, time lapse, edit. Okay, select the first one and then click image sequence. That's very important, and that's you know, yeah, that actually makes the video file from a bunch of images. So just select the first one, select image sequence, and select open. And here you choose your frame rate. I choose 24, um, you can do 30 or 25 um, 24 is like a cinematic standard it's Hollywood standard um, so yeah you can really select what you want um, yeah if you really know nothing about frame rates I would recommend just choose 24 I mean uh, it really doesn't matter um, anything from 30 to 24 would should work um, or if you have a certain project that has a certain frame rate, just insert that that you want to put in here. Whatever you want to do, um, I'll use 24. Just click OK and Photoshop will open these files. That was very quickly for the longest time lapse I've ever done, I think. Accidentally. Um, okay, the image is open. Go to Window and go down and click on timeline and mark it with the right arrow or whatever no not the arrow the yeah correction mark whatever you want to call that thing um just want to zoom out here a bit okay and here you can see our timeline i can skip through it and watch it change um wow that looks quite good Yo, I'm quite excited and as you can see I actually shot a 40 second time lapse. Okay, so you can see here I shot a 40 second time lapse at the end. Um, and that's a bit too long and the action is quite slow in this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the video file at the end and I'm going to put it into my free video editor VSDC video editor and I'm just going to speed it up by maybe 200% then it's a, two, a 20 second time lapse so if you wanted to do that and you maybe make the same mistake as I did and the action didn't happen that fast in your video but you have a longer time lapse like 40 seconds no one's gonna watch a 40 second time lapse if not a lot is happening so I'm going to take that 40 second time lapse 
and you know compress it down to a 20 second time lapse and with that also the action is going to happen faster in that video so it's going to be a little bit more interesting you can also press the spacebar i think yeah and that'll render your time lapse so you will see it skips it goes frame 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 by frame and then um you will see a blue stripe here load just above the uh, the video layer and that means it's actually rendered now i think it depends on your, your computer's ram or memory how much of this it can render at once but i know my laptop only does about six seconds then it deletes from the back and continues forward so the whole rendered part moves forward maybe your computer has enough ram to load uh the whole time lapse in in the memory and then you can go back to the front of the blue part you will see there mine actually deletes from the back to render the front part so what i can do is i can pause go back to the first part and then watch like oh no okay i went just okay now i'm in the blue part now i can watch that there we go um, so that's just if you wanted to check out your time lapse now with my small little RAM I really it's kind of useless to do so but anyway um, we're actually almost finished now just go to the bottom here there's a small arrow pointing right and up uh, I think it said render something now anyway it is the render arrow just press it it might take a while to open up with my laptop but yours might be a bit quicker okay there it opened up the render folder uh, I mean window now just choose um, whatever you want oops okay that's very wrong uh, I think is that how you spell valley anyway Um, select folder now here we can we choose time lapse I'm just going to put the video file under time lapse uh, create side folder no okay h264 preset high quality um, I yo, I'll just leave it at that document size 3840 by 2160 that's standard 4k and that's what we actually set in Lightroom so then we don't have to do anything here and worry about cropping the video file anything so it's already done in lightroom frame rate 24 frames a second as at it as it was set in import field folder okay well whatever this is just range all files um all frames sorry um start frame end frame if you want to export just a certain part and yeah that's about it just select render and this is where my computer really likes to go freeze so I'm going to pull up my um, task manager here. If you don't know how to open up task manager, just right click on the task bar. Oops, I don't know if I should do that now. And just click on task manager. Um, okay. Hey, I know you're busy right now, but I would really, really appreciate it if you go down and like this video and subscribe for more. And if you want to, you can share this video as well. Thank you. Now, um, Lightroom. Oh, Photoshop is finished. This, that window is down. You can save this file if you wanted to, but really, we didn't do much. We only opened it as a sequence and basically exported it. So, I'm not going to save it at all. It's really, I can just repeat this if I wanted to. So, close Photoshop, and you should have this file there. And there we have it. Uh, I don't think my laptop will play back this 4K file. There you have it. We made a time lapse successfully using only the Adobe Photography plan. Uh, I hope yours turned out great. And thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have fun shooting. <laughs>